property. I want to be a better person. Aggie Cohen is on a mission. Not let this sorrow be all that the rest of my life is about. So she's traveling more than 2,100 miles from her York County home to Utah to bring her son home. She will be helped by a woman she has never met or even talked to. I think there was a reason I was supposed to be here. Aggie's 23-year-old son, Marine Corporal Michael Cohen, was shot to death by insurgents in Iraq three years ago. I'll never completely heal. There is a lot of time to think driving this long, lonely road two and a half hours south of Salt Lake City. Tumbleweeds are actually tumbling across the dry, cracked ground. Cows stop and stare. Mrs. Cohen hopes this journey will help her get part of herself back as well. I can regain some of that passion that I used to have. The trip feels strange, but important. There is a sense that whatever she finds at the end of this road will shape the rest of her life. The closer we got, the more nervous I got. And as we drove up the, the driveway, my heart got tighter and my throat got tighter. Then Keziah Hancock bursts out of her home. Aggie thinks she's like an angel with wings outstretched. Yeah. She walked out of the house and, and opened her arms. And I knew no matter how flawed I was or insignificant I was, this woman had enough love for me and for my son. <laughs> so who is Keziah Hancock, known in these parts as the goat woman, who lives on and works 15 acres in rugged Manti, Utah? I am a portrait specialist. But it's clear her talent does not end there. I've always been far more than the average artist. If means a big heart, she's nailed it. Her portraits sell for between ten and twenty thousand dollars. But for the families of our fallen troops, they are a gift. At least I, I try to do something rather than sit around and suck my thumb and just say, "Oh, I'm so sorry." Well, that that's great. I mean, we're all sorry. Sorry that Marine Corporal Michael Cohen will be painting number 371 in her Heroes series. Oh, that's 371 too damn many. Michael's mission was to protect his nation. Kaziah's is to heal it. One portrait, one family, one mother at a time. The Cohen family has sent three photos of Michael for her to paint from. This is what I'm, the one I'm going to do right here. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> this yeah, is one. a first. Until now, Kaziah has never painted with family in the room. I love having her here. She can, she can kick my butt if I don't get it right. Two women, one who lost her only son, one who could never have a son because of ovarian cancer. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Brought together by a blank canvas and a palette of paint. Here's a, a little sweetheart like you that's had this beautiful boy. He's a son like I could have had. And then you lose him. And my heart aches for you. But that aching heart cranks up the mood music hey, and gets down. Okay, we're going to rock and roll to business. He's going to come alive here. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. When she looks at my son's picture, she's really seeing it. My goal is to get straight to the heart. There's something she captures in his portrait that's it's him. I want to know, to feel, to experience the particulars of the personality for which I'm trying to portray with a hope. It's just like a prayer that is very soul mixed with the paint, and the portrait will become alive. It's all the best parts of him, and parts I'll never see in person again but I'll be able to look at it in the picture that's Kaziah that's the mission every time I pick up the brush that well-intentioned brush churns beneath her hands for hours with military precision just got his eyes good that's what I want I want him looking right smack at you boom, 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 boom. 
bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Marie Corporal Michael Cohen is coming to life. The last time I had touched his face, it was cold. And she was making it warm again. Honey, this is why paint must be laid down. Kaziah came up with the idea listening well, to the radio. And there was a talk show. And they were ta talking about the life of James W. Kelly. He was one of the first guys in Utah that was killed in the war. Since then, her work has gotten a lot of national attention. But that's not why she's giving so much of herself to people she, in most cases, will never meet. These guys, they have my heart. That's why I give them my hands. This is personal. This is the story of a life. He sat down with them. Um, the guys in his patrol before they went out for their first battle. And he promised them they were all going home. And Aww. they all did, all but him. But he's coming home now. Another miracle. A boy. He looks like he's gonna take care of everybody. And in a way, he is. I feel good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> the gift of this painting is the love and the appreciation that I feel. There's just so much sorrow out there. And, and so, guys, all I want to do is just put some love into the universe. Janelle Stelson, News 8. Shark.